Hi, my name is Anurag Gupta. I'm a program manager on the Operations Management Suite team, otherwise known as OMS. And this is going to be a quick walkthrough of onboarding a Linux server into OMS. So today I'm going to be onboarding a Ubuntu 14.04 server, but we also support a variety of other platforms, including Red Hat Enterprise Linux, SUSE Linux Enterprise Server, CentOS, Oracle, Debian GNU Linux, and Amazon Linux. The OMS agent for Linux is capable of collecting syslog events, near real-time performance metrics, alerts from Nagios and Zabbix, along with Docker container logs and performance metrics. Normally, we would go to a Microsoft download page to download this agent, but for this release, we've actually chosen GitHub. GitHub allows us to kind of build a community feel around our release, along with having our source code and binaries available at the same time. We also have places for feedback, so you can always tell us something good or bad or a suggestion for a new feature, along with more granularity to which Linux operating system versions we support. And we also have nitty gritty full documentation, which goes over all the requirements and what the OMS agent for Linux entails. On the actual release page, you'll see we have our MD5 and SHA-256 checksums, which allow you to validate the integrity of the downloaded uh, package. And we actually have the download files as well. So the OMS agent x64 is for 64-bit platforms, and the other x86 is for 32-bit. You'll see that both are .shs, and what this means is a shell bundle. And this shell bundle has some intelligence built around it to understand if you're installing this agent on a RPM-based system or a Debian-based system. We also understand which version of OpenSSL you have, and we'll link accordingly. So I'm going to actually go ahead and download the x64 one. So I'll copy that link, and I'll SSH into my Ubuntu 14 VM. As you can see, it's also 64-bit. I'm using MobXTerm as my SSH client, but you can use PuTTY or whatever other SSH client you prefer. And I'll issue a wget along with that link that I copied earlier. And you'll see that I already start to go out and download the agent. And while that's loading, the other bits of information I'll need to onboard exist in the OMS portal. So if I go ahead and sign into my OMS portal, I'll want to go ahead and switch into my settings page, which is available through this dropdown or as a settings pane right here. I'll then switch into connected sources and I'll see my workspace ID and primary key. So once that's done, I'll want to mark my OMS agent as executable with a chmod plus x. I'll do a dot slash OMS agent dash dash install and a dash w indicating my workspace ID, which I'll copy right now. And a dash s to indicate my primary key, which I'll also copy. Now you'll see that I have 50 servers connected right now. As soon as I run this command, my 50 servers will be enumerated to 51 and my OMS agent will be installed. So we'll go ahead and issue that command, switch to settings and we'll refresh this page. And you'll see here that I now have 51 servers connected. And my installation's done. Now stepping into the configuration options a bit, the main scenarios we have are syslog, performance metrics, Nagios, and Zabbix alerts. And stepping into syslog, if you go to Etsy opt Microsoft OMS agent sysconf, you'll see an R syslog or syslog-ng depending on the syslog version you're using. For this Ubuntu 14, I'm gonna be using R syslog and I can see what type of syslog events I'm collecting. In this case, I'm getting all of these facilities at the warning level. If I really wanted to, I could change it to every single facility at every single level 
by indicating a star dot star and saving that. And then I would go ahead and restart my R syslog daemon. Additionally, we have more configuration options at omsagent-conf, omsagent.conf. You'll see we have sources along with filters and matches. If you're familiar with the open source project Fluent D and this looks familiar to you, then you'll notice that, hey, we're actually using Fluent D as our log aggregation agent for the OMS agent. And this configuration follows the same format a Fluent D agent would use today. The sources indicate where we are looking for specific metrics and the filters then change that to an acceptable way for OMS to ingest that data. In this file, we can go ahead and change intervals for specific performance metrics. We can indicate separate instances to collect. For processor, I could say only collect the first processor core instead of all of them if I have a multi-core system. And I can also indicate specific counters I want to collect. All this information is also available on the GitHub in the full documentation as well. Lastly, if I don't want to mess with the file or use Puppet, Chef, SaltStack, Ansible, whatever configuration tool I have to go out and configure these agents. I can also come into the OMS portal of the settings, change to data, and then go into Linux performance counters and apply specific configuration to all my machines. For example, if I had Apache HTTP server, I could go and add those metrics based off the Apache HTTP OMI provider. I could also go to syslog and get specific facilities added at every single logging level here as well. And these configuration options will take around five minutes to go down to your actual Linux server and apply the required changes. So that's it for the main feature set for OMS agent for Linux. I hope you're able to onboard and join us for this great ride. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us as scdata at microsoft.com. We're more than happy to take your feedback through user voice. And if you're interested enough, definitely join our Elite Linux customer panel. We look forward to your participation. Thanks.